Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have seen so many makeup collections recommended in my video feed lately. I have been inspired by those videos to do my own. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you my makeup collection today. Um, I'm not going to go super in depth, but I am going to show you kind of like the layout that I have and kind of highlight some of the products that I have. If you have any questions about anything, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'd be glad to answer them. I've been wanting to do this video for about a year now and for some reason, I just haven't done it. So I thought, I'm feeling pretty good today. Spring is clearly in the air um, and I wanna do it. Uh, I wanna apologize for my videos being really inconsistent the past little while. Uh, winter is a very, very hard time for me to deal with. We recently had this big snowstorm after spring had like basically started. Like it's already been the first day of spring, but then it just started to snowstorm the other day. Um, and that was really hard for me to deal with. That was the day that I was supposed to be filming because I have specific days that I set aside specifically for filming. And that was one of those days and it was, it was not a good day. I'll just say that now. So today the sun is bright as fuck. Everything's good. I'm caffeinated as fuck and I am ready to go. So let's get into this makeup collection, shall we? So like literally every YouTuber, I have the Alex 9 drawers. I purchased them with my own money that I worked for. I do quite like the drawers. They are a little bit small, um, but for what I need them for, they work really good, especially for beginners, experts, just they're really good for storing things I don't really know what I'm saying but they're very very good so the way I'm showing you my collection today is everything is literally placed in the drawer how it always is I didn't clean up anything before I filmed this video I just want to show you what it's like in its natural like raw state so you can see how disgusting I am. So this is what the top looks like. Here I have a plant that Nick got me for Halloween. I have these two like weird ducks. They're like zombie ducks or like, I don't know, these weird ducks. This one has three eyes. I thought it was so cute. And then I have this one which has horns. This one has horns. I think it's, they're both really funny. So I keep them right here. Next to my pig piggy bank, which I actually use and it's really nice. Uh, my brushes are back here. Here I just have a coconut milk mango candle from Indigo. This actually smells really good. Um, I'm just waiting until summer to like continue to burn it. It smells really good, but to me it just, it's meant, it's meant for summer. Over here is just a jewelry dish. This has all of my earrings in it. And then I have a few rings. Um, I need really specific jewelry to wear because my ears get really infected. Uh, and then over here I have some perfumes. This is actually a candle dish um, that I got from my grandpa. It was technically my mom's, but I found it downstairs in the living room and I was like, this would be cute to put my perfumes on. I don't know if you guys really care, but I have Versace, <laughs> two One Di actually three One Direction perfumes, Calvin Klein and Elizabeth Arden. And then I also have backups of the One Direction perfumes because I am crazy. Because they are side by side, I want to do them both at the same time because it'll just, it'll save time instead of having to go down one and then come back up and then go down another one. So in here, this one's actually kind of a mess, um, but this is where I keep all of my lashes and some samples that I get. If there's a product on the shelf that I want to try and there's a tester, sometimes I'll bring um, bring them home. They all have the names on them so I remember what they are. Got some foundation and just like some things to take off makeup and moisturizers and things. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, this is my last drawer. Oh, <laughs> elephant, I guess. Should mention that. This is my clarifying lotion from Clinique. Obviously, this is the big size. Um, I do have a small one that I'm getting through right now, but when I'm done that, I'm going to be using this one. Lashes, like I said, I've got some glue. I've got tweezers. I'm wearing these lashes right now. They're from Quo. It's their faux mink lashes. These are really pretty, but unfortunately they're limited edition, which sucks because these are the prettiest lashes that Quo has ever come out with. They're so pretty. Um, my other favorite lashes are from Viso Free. They have some really good ones. These are in the style E7. I believe these were $4. They're so, so, so good. Such great quality. Um, these are another pair from them. This is E12. These are amazing lashes. I'll have the link to their shop down below because they're really affordable. 
you just have to wait a really long time to get them but they do have some good styles and they're extremely easy to use then i also have some bh cosmetics studio pro lashes these are the d301s these ones are my favorite from their lashes like their lash line i guess these are the best um, I also have some from Kiss back there, but 90% of them are BH Cosmetics and just these like really weirdly packaged ones from AliExpress, but these are really good also. So this drawer right here is all my extra stuff. This is stuff that I either haven't gotten to use yet, got for free, or just backups of things that I love. If you've been watching my channel, you know how I don't shut up about this, so I went and bought six backups and that's what you see there in the back because they discontinued it and i'm sorry i'm not letting it go not today um a lot of this stuff i did get for free like this 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 a bunch of stuff a lot of this is gratis so that's why it kind of just stays in the store but most of it i have purchased and i just haven't gotten around to using it yet going back over to this unit this is what we got in the next drawer so this is what i have in my next drawer this is literally all my bronzers blushes face powders literally everything like that i am trying to condense my makeup collection because drawers like this kind of stress me out and i don't like having a lot of stuff because 90 percent of the time when i say oh i want a blush i'm literally gonna grab the same one um but yeah this is this drawer i have some physicians formula some wet and wild Too faced color pop Oh my god, in my opinion, ColourPop really does have the best blush formula. It's so creamy and pigmented, and they come in so many colors. I really like these. Uh, the bronzer is okay, I have to say. I have NARS, e.l.f., um, the balm. Got some Maybelline Fit Me, Becca. What are these? Uh, Gradient Sunlit Bronzers. These are actually discontinued, and I'm so upset because these are are the most beautiful bronzers I've ever used. This one's my favorite for sure. Burt's Bees Blush, Elizabeth Arden Pressed Powder, um, Wet n Wild Blushes, Anastasia Blush and Bronzer, uh, Too Faced. These are discontinued as well. These are the Melting Powder Blushes, and these are really good. Uh, this is my favorite shade. And it's called Pinch My Peach. I've got some Milani here, Tarte, Essence. I really like the Essence formula because it's really creamy and pigmented and a little bit goes a long way. Got some e.l.f. blushes here. Got a pixie powder I've never tried before. Um, and then, oops, I just pushed that. This is the Maybelline Superstay. I use it all the time. I just pushed it back there. Love it. So that's that drawer. This is the next drawer that we're going to get into. This is everything i use to take off my makeup you've probably seen these products in a handful of different videos because i don't stop talking about them um i have some cotton pads here um but this is everything i used to take off my makeup like i said i have some glam glow this is so good for taking off makeup but just cleansing it's very like face conditioning if that makes sense um i have the simple hydrating cleansing oil i use this only for taking off eyelash glue because i find it's the only thing that works that doesn't like irritate my eyes um, i have bioderma uh, micellar water i prefer this one over the pink one everyone likes the pink one but i find that that one dries out my skin the blue one's my favorite and i actually do have two backups but they're just over there i talk about this all the time peaches and clean deep cleansing milk then i have some makeup removing wipes i have pawns i don't know if you can see that right there um i don't use this to take off makeup i use it more in the morning when i need like a face refresh now i typically use my toner but sometimes i use this because it just feels like you went for a facial at a spa it's very very nice have a travel size of my bioderma clinique take the day off balm i've talked about this before but this is such a good cleansing balm this is my second one i'm like right on the edge of using my other one um i have some clean and clear wipes garnier then i have the clinique wipes back here this is the take the day off one those are really good i have some retinol wipes at the back that are so fucking dry i can't even use them then i have a mary Kay uh cleanser it's like a milky cleanser it's okay um, but I much prefer the Peaches and Clean cleansing milk just because it smells like peaches. And I find it gets off makeup better than that one. Alright, third drawer down. Let's go into this. This is where I keep all my highlighters right here. 
and like glow stuff. I don't really know what this could be categorized as. Um, but this is where I keep all of my highlighters. I have a lot of ColourPop. My two favorites are Flexitarian and On the Cusp from the Zodiac collection. These two are really pretty. Uh, MAC Soft and Gentle, Becca Champagne Pop. This one is so dark for me now, um, considering <laughs> this is the highlight I use now. You can see how dark they are compared to each other. Um, but yeah, I have the Maybelline Face Studio. This is the Pixie uh, Glowy Gossamer Duo. That one is so pretty. I have a bunch of Wet n Wild highlighters. This is a really good drugstore formula. I highly recommend you check it out. Then I have the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter. I haven't talked about this on my channel, but I do have it. I just don't know when I'll have time to use it because I keep forgetting about it and I feel kind of bad. <laughs> this is the Wet n Wild Loose Hiding Highlighting Powder in the shade Written in the Stars. This is such a pretty highlighter. And here I have the Wet n Wild Hello Halo. That's okay. NYX Glitter Primer, NYX Away We Glow, and then two products from Benefit. This is technically a face primer, but um, I just keep it in here. And then I have Watts Up, which is a really nice strobing highlighter. Back here is where I keep all of my singles, quads, duos, and trios. Um, there's a lot of color pop in here. I have two of these Smashbox things. Um, I think you get these in like a little trial trial set. I'm not totally sure. These are pretty good. The quality is nice. They're not the best, but they're they're good. This is a Physician's Formula little palette. I've never tried this before. I got it and kind of just threw it in the bin, but it's really nice and glittery and sometimes I really like glittery eyeshadows. As we can see with what I'm wearing today, got some Wet n Wild trios in the back. Um, Sonia Kasha Quad. This is just glitter, which is really nice. Sephora Collection, Essence, um, everything's kind of like packed in here. Makeup Forever, stuff like that. Then right here I have Stila Glitter and Glows and Shimmer and Glows. Um, these are really pretty. I love the formula on these and they are so, so, so shimmery. Love them. Um, I also have some from ColourPop. These are their Supernova Shadows. These are really nice too. They're not as good as Stila, but they're like they're pretty good. NYX Roll-On Shimmers. These are ancient, but I got them and like didn't use them. But I still want to keep them because I know I can use them. So that's everything for this drawer. Move on to this one right here. This is like my least eventful drawer. And here is pretty much just mascara. Well, not just mascara. Um, this bin right here is all full-size mascaras. A lot of them are mixed between new and old. I really have to go through them and see which ones I like. Um, I think that this one's running out. <sighs> Please, I like this mascara a lot. Oh no! The stopper came out! For fuck's sakes! <laughs> Stop. Okay, I put it back in. Never mind. But yeah, I'm just gonna have to go through this and kind of decide what I need to get rid of. So there'll probably be a declutter coming soon because I'm trying to minimize my collection because I know I have too much stuff. Here's all my eyebrow stuff. I have a lot of benefit because I bought a set around Christmas that was such a good deal and I got a lot of stuff in here. So I have like precisely my brow, the brow powder, which I literally talk about all the time. I genuinely think this is such a good brow powder. Um, I've got some e.l.f. I've got this L'Oreal brow razor. Have haven't used this yet. I've got some Maybelline, Anastasia. That is for real drying out. I need to get rid of that soon. Um, plus I have the Cabral, so I kind of just might as well get rid of that. Uh, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, Maybelline, Total Temptation. Like I said, there's a bunch of benefit. Got some Essence, Physician's Formula. This is kind of crap. Um, and then I've got some Wet n Wild. Here's just all my small mascaras. These are like travel sizes that I either got in like a Sephora order or came in like a set or something. Sometimes we get these for free when we go to like trainings and stuff. Um, and then back here, I'm just gonna quickly pull this out because it'll be easier to see. These are just all my eyeliners. This is not, like these two are technically not eyeliners, but they're cream colors, so I just put them in here anyways. Um, these are all my eyeliners, lip liners jumbo pencils nothing really special i've got urban decay ciate makeup forever nyx um what is this l'oreal literally a lot of the same i've got marcel showed that in another video Vasanti, mark jacobs stila the estee edit 
Might have to get rid of that. That's old. But yeah, these are just all my my pencil products. Fourth drawer on this side is all lips. This is probably the drawer that I am most proud of because I think it looks cute as hell. I actually reorganized this the other day because it was so awful. All these lipsticks were laying down and they were kind of like overflowing and going into these bins. But now that they are able to stand up and it doesn't hit the next drawer, is awesome and I'm so happy in this first compartment this is where I keep all of my lipsticks um, I am very much a lipstick and lip gloss person which you'll see over here for sure um, so I put all my lipsticks here um, now these are here I've talked about them a million times there's the Sephora cream lip stains these are the best liquid lipsticks ever but they are very comfortable like a lipstick and that's why I put them in the front here also these would be the first things that I would grab if I were to open this drawer aside from the lipsticks if that makes any sense because I've mentioned before but I'm not a liquid lipstick person and these are all my liquid lipsticks right here but because these are so comfortable I wear them a lot these are all my liquid lipsticks I have ColourPop this is my favorite I might even just put this here this is the L'Oreal it's like the rouge matte ink or something it's in the shade I create this is like my literal natural lip color it just enhances my lips a little bit and i really love this so good very comfortable it's comfortable like these actually maybe even a little bit more yeah so like i was saying i have some color pop lime crime Too faced stila nyx uh maybelline i have some kylie i also have some anastasia beverly hills and that's about it here is where i keep like my pencil products like i have little chubby sticks or bombs from revlon these are pretty good. They're very nice for like a sheer wash of color. I also have some of the ColourPop lippy sticks, the L matte lip crayons, and then I have these click ones from NYX, which are really nice. They're a little bit hard to apply though, I do have to say. So that is this drawer. Let's move on to the lip gloss, the holy grail drawer. If you've known me long enough, you know that I love lip gloss, and that's why we've got a whole separate drawer for it. It says a lot when I have an entire drawer for lip gloss and lip balm, technically. So like my mascaras, I separated these by size. So my bigger lip glosses I have here and then my smaller ones I have in this little bin here. I have Too Faced here. I've got some MAC lip glosses. I've got Essence. These glosses, like the Shine 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 lip glosses are so amazing. These are some new ones to me. Um, we had this thing at work, we could fill up a bag of makeup for $10, so I got these. Haven't used them yet, but can't wait to see what they're like. I got some Vivid Hot Lacquers from Maybelline. Those are okay, they're not the best. Uh, like I said, MAC. I've got some more NYX. I've got more Essence lip glosses and like ColourPop. I'm a creature of habit and I like a lot of the same brands, so you'll see a lot of that. Um, I don't know if I said Too Faced. I also have Bite Beauty right here. This is kind of like a liquefied lipstick, but I still put it in here. Over here is all my Fenty lip glosses. I love the Fenty Gloss Bombs. These are my favorite. I have two of the original and then one of um, Fussy. This is so, so pretty. In this small one, I have some from L'Oreal. I have the Havana Collection from L'Oreal. This is with Camila Cabello. These are really good glosses. I... Wish they didn't get rid of them, but I mean, it was limited edition, so that kind of sucks. Um, I've got some NYX Butter Glosses, some Mini Anastasia Glosses, which I actually have a bunch of the full sizes in here because these are so good. I've got some Revlon Glosses. What else? Some BH Cosmetics ones, which I might get rid of because I don't know if it's just me, but I find that BH Cosmetics expires really quickly. <laughs> like there was one time I bought a liquid lipstick from them and like within the next month, um, it had expired and there was mold in it, which was gross. Back here is all my lip balms and very lightly tinted products. So I have like a Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm, Laneige, Wet n Wild Lip Scrub. Then I have like these Revlon Moisture Stains, which they're lip stains, but they're like very silicone-y. You can definitely feel the dimethicone kind of like slipping around. Um, I have Clearance Lip Balm, Bite Beauty Lip Balm. Clinique Chubby Sticks because those are really nice. So that is this drawer. So now we're going to the, what is this, fifth? Fifth drawer down. This one is not really as exciting. This is just where I keep all of my nail stuff. So I have things like KL Polish, RIP. They had really, really good nail polishes. The formula was incredible. 
and it was something that I used to wear all the time. Thank God I got these shades though because I love them and they're very hard to find dupes at the drugstore. Um, but I also really love the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. That's like my second favorite formula because it dries so quickly. I also have some more Sally Hansen. This is the salon manicure. Um, I have my Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleaner, the blender cleanser, which I actually think that this is garbage now. Yeah, that's so gross. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that shit. Okay, garbage. Got some fake nails here, nail file. This is where I have some samples of some perfumes and my um, nail or pencil sharpener. Have some stones back there and <laughs> an extra eyelash curler because I accidentally bought one when I couldn't find my other one. And then I have some brushes here. These are brushes that I don't use all that often, but I like to keep just in case I do need them. But all the brushes like on top of my dresser, I actually use all the time. So that's just what is in here. On this side, there really is nothing. Um, this is just all stationary. I have a pencil case and some journaling stuff. So we're not even gonna get into that drawer. Now we're gonna get into this drawer right here. This is my skincare drawer. This is probably my favorite drawer in this whole unit, even though it's something that I rarely really go into. So right on top, I actually have a Dr. Jart rubber mask. I bought this and then I literally forgot I had it and then I put it in here so that I probably should do this soon. That really just masked <laughs> the mess that was underneath but I'll show you everything that I've gotten here. Um, I have a little Clinique All About Eyes eye cream. I think this is a sample. Yeah, this is a sample size for sure. Um, Shiseido Facial Cotton. I got this because a lot of people were saying it was really good but I kind of was a little bit hesitant because it's facial wipes so I don't really see the difference but I decided to try it they're okay they're definitely not my favorite I much prefer cotton rounds over these but in here I just have some aquaphor this is like my favorite ointment for my hands and my feet especially in the winter this stuff is so good I've got some inky list this is an AHA which helps with my acne snow fairy body wash I've got some stuff from glam glow back here the super mud and the dream duo overnight treatment this stuff is awesome if you want to see my skincare routine make sure to subscribe because that will be coming in the next little while super highly requested and figured i should get on it this is one of my favorite moisturizers this is the origins of perfect world with spf 40 i loved this for so long and i still do to be quite honest but it actually started to break me out really badly which sucks i've actually had this jar since like august and i've only used about half this stuff is really good but it broke me out so bad <laughs> i've got this cream from first aid beauty this is our coconut water cream this stuff is i've actually never tried this um that's funny i've got the laneige water sleeping mask the fresh rose mask um pawns dry skin cream and then the pawns clear and b cream this is a scrub from biore it was on clear out at Walmart so I decided to pick it up and try it out got some foot cream back there a Mary Kay toner which I don't really like that much uh, the Mary Kay moisturizer which is nice clean and clear moisturizer La Roche Posay wash that's what I use for my tattoos I used to use this but I don't anymore got some toothbrushes got a toner which i like for acne then over here i've got a bunch of sheet masks i got some from like the body shop uh life brand more body shop it's a hyaluronic acid one from bath and body works this foot mask i use literally all the time it's so good got some a biocellulose mask um hydrating sheet mask glam glow bubble sheet i love these so much i actually go through these really quickly <laughs> Um, and then more from the body shop. I also got some strips from Biore, which are really good and I like those a lot. And that's everything in this drawer. So next is my complexion drawer. Now this one, I will definitely say is a huge fucking mess. I don't know how to clean it. Well, I do know how to clean it, but I just don't know how to organize it properly just because this works for me. Like this system works for me, um, even though I really want to clean it up somehow. Over here is where I keep all of my foundations. In here I have some CoverGirl. I'm actually wearing this one today. I tried it out for the first time. Uh, got some Too Faced. Uh, got some Maybelline, Hard Candy, CoverGirl, NYX, Giorgio Armani, Revlon, L'Oreal, Smashbox. This is like my favorite foundation. Got some NYX, more Maybelline, and I've got some more Smashbox back here. Also got Makeup Forever and BH Cosmetics also. 
Um, here's my primers, my primer stuff right here. Got some L'Oreal. This Prime Studio one is so good. So go in there. Wet n Wild, got some Becca, got some Physicians Formula primers. They've got some good primers, to be honest. Benefit Professional, Tatcha Silk Canvas. That one's back here. No Pore Blend from Touch and Soul. CoverGirl, Stila, The Ordinary, stuff like that. Then over here is concealers. This is kind of overflowing. I have two of the Rimmel Insta Conceal and Correct palettes. Got some ColourPop, L'Oreal Full Wear. This is a pretty good concealer. Uh, Maybelline Master Contour Tarte Shape Tape. Like I said, ColourPop, BH Cosmetics, and Maybelline. Then as you can see in the back there, that's where I have all of my sprays. Currently, this is the one I'm loving. It's the Urban Decay Quick Fix. This is so nice and smells like coconuts. Um, I have some sponges back here too, but from what we can see, I have my Keep It Perfect, which I said I love. Primer Water from Smashbox, Essence Prime Studio, Wet n Wild, Photo Focus, and then the Essence Instant Matte. So those are all that. Um, got some Real Technique sponges, Juno & Co. I'm just going to move these all over here, actually. I'm just going to show you the rest of what's in here because there's nothing really, like, nothing else. This drawer, I'm not even going to open because it has a lot of, like, vitamins and, like, personal hygiene products. And I, I don't know, some of y'all might get a bit uncomfortable, so I'm not going to open that. This drawer right here is literally all Scentsy products, and I don't think you guys really care about that. And then this bottom drawer right here includes all my makeup bags. I actually just got this one. It's so pretty. Then a lot of Ipsy bags, this Clinique bag. And then I have some wigs back there from tutorials I've done in the past. Um, but I do plan on expanding that. So yeah, that's going to be fun. But I love this makeup bag. Holy shit. So in this next drawer, I am going to be pretty vague just because it is all my palettes. And I want to do a palette collection sometime soon. So this is all what I have right now. I have like a benefit. Uh, face palette. I am going to get the newest one. So if you want to see any anything with that, let me know. I've got some Anastasia palettes. Got the Riviera palette. I've used this once. Um, just haven't had time to use it. I'm surprised I didn't use it today. I used the James Charles palette today. Some more Anastasia. Oh my god. The Master Palette by Mario. This one is so pretty. I wish that they would bring this back. Contour kits. Uh, Morphe. Lip kits. Chloe Morello. Um, I've got all my Too Faced palettes back here. I also have all of my Naked palettes back there as well, including the original R.I.P. I've got my little ColourPop um, Z palette here. Ooh, really spring colors. I like it. Maybe I'll do something with that. Oh my god, I haven't seen this in a hot minute. It's so pretty. Oh my god. There was a time on my YouTube channel when I was obsessed with this. Oh my god, I want to pull it back out. It's so pretty. Got my glow kit. Okay, this is one that they need to bring back for real, for real. This is the best glow kit, in my opinion. This is the Gleam Glow Kit. Please bring this back, Anastasia. It's my favorite. Got Violet Boss Lingo and another Z palette just full of shadows. All right, so now let's go on to the next palette drawer. Okay, let's open this boy up. I don't know if you can even see in it. Well, you can. This is just in the way. This is the James Charles and Morphe palette. This is what I used today. Um, everyone loves this palette. I did get a question in my last video. I did put the names on them. I literally just took a label maker and put the names on them because I just, I could not use this palette without the names because I obviously do YouTube and I need to be able to reference colors, but that's besides the point. I'm very much a person who separates everything by either size or type. So in this drawer, my palettes are big. And in this drawer, my palettes are small with the exception of this one. This one was just way too big to fit in here. And there's a lot more space in here. So in here, I've got some Physicians Formula. I've got some ColourPop palettes. I really want to keep using this one. I've used it for a little bit, but I just, I stopped using it for some reason. And the quality of ColourPop shadows is actually like unreal. They're so good. Um, got some more glow kits from Anastasia. Yikes! Um, I bought it because I thought it was pretty. Didn't know her name was attached to it. And I don't really want to get rid of it because I actually think it's kind of pretty. Someone buy it from me for $500,000, please. Got the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick Palette. I've got some Milani palettes. These are really good if you're looking for 
um, really good affordable shadows. The formula of these is super creamy and they're so good. They're comparable to Anastasia in my opinion. I've got the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. I've got the Venus 1 and 2. Then I've got some from Too Faced here. I've got the little metal palettes. I've um, got some Too Faced just peachy mattes and white peach. Um, and then I've got some Huda Beauty and some Wet n Wild back there. All right, and then in the very bottom drawer, this is literally nothing special. Oh my God, what's happening? It's literally just samples, like samples galore. Like Dr. Jart. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, right here. I got a little mini Fix Plus. That one's super cute. Gonna have to use that soon. I did have them separated from what they are. Like this one right here it says primer. Uh, I have a foundation one, but I've gotten back to the point where I just throw them in there. These are also deluxe size samples. Like I've got Laneige, Glam Glow, Living Proof, uh, Clinique, Skin Food. I don't know. I've just got a lot in here. So if you know me and you want some samples, hit me to fuck up because I probably got something you want. I'm so out of breath. This is what asthma does to a person. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to say thank you guys for the support and not unsubscribing while I was kind of dealing with the winter. I really appreciate it. Um, if there's anything you want to see on my channel, please make sure to let me know in the comments. I also have a curious cat that I will link also um, in case you want to ask me something anonymously or if you just want to call me a stupid bitch. I'll leave that in the description <laughs> as well. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you in my next one.